Like me or hate me, at the end of the day, there's very few content creators on YouTube that do jewelry that can present you with the type of shit that I'm gonna do today. How about I'm gonna bring you some of Miami's top jewelers who make Miami Cuban links, and I'm gonna show you their pieces up front and personal. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you onto this joint, cause this is gonna be a fun ass video. I'm kind of a big deal. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. So let me give you a little bit of backstory of how I'm able to do this type of video. Thanks to my affiliations with Daniel Jewelry Inc. I'm not an employee. I'm not on their staff. I'm not on their payroll. We collaborate on a lot of shit and we've built a good relationship to the point where I have a nice limit on my credit card, which is on file and I'm able to pull some strings and ask for some favors. And in this particular case, I asked for a very big favor, which I'm surprised that they agreed to. My idea was I I'm a small YouTuber. I'm the biggest in the game, but I'm a small YouTuber as far as platform is concerned on this channel. Now, I don't have the largest budget to go to every poppin' jeweler and spend two, three, five, ten racks just to make content on YouTube. My channel isn't like that. Unless I'm gonna start developing some sort of Patreon where people are donating funds so I can buy pieces from these spots and review them, it's very difficult for me to do that kind of shit. Here's the platform platinum card. Do you by any chance get in trade-ins or upgrades or anything like that from other jewelers? He's like, yes, quite often. So I asked him to set me up with something that he may have from other popular jewelers that make great links and he was able to accommodate. So I have a couple of jewelers here that customers have sent in their pieces for an upgrade for a trade or whatever the case may be because Daniel Jewelry Inc. also does pawn to show y'all peoples because you're always asking, yo, how about this guy? Does this guy make dope links? Yo, what do you think about this at the end of the day this is a very very difficult topic to do especially on a type of budget so let's get into this video real quick and I'm gonna show you different comparisons I'm gonna be very Switzerland in this video I don't know the reasons why these were traded upgraded or whatever at the end of the day but some of them I assume based on the condition and you'll see what I'm talking about I even clean these shits to make it fair and very diplomatic cuz I'm kind of like that I'm a nice guy at the end of the day this is the type of shit that we are working with None of these are Daniel Jewelry Inc. joints. So we're gonna be presenting to you and I'm gonna tell you who the jewelers are. I'm gonna let you look at them. You guys can give your opinions on them and I'm gonna give minimal opinion because I'm gonna try to be very diplomatic in this video and not try to stir anybody or get anybody's nipples all in a twist because people are sensitive nowadays and they take opinions very to the heart. Like, ooh, I'm hurt. I don't know the history of why these came into the shop so y'all have an idea and you can shop around wherever the fuck you want. So this particular chain is by a jeweler in Miami that's pretty known, not on Instagram or on social media, but in the Miami culture as producing beautiful Cuban links, and this is Leon Jewelry. When I first got this chain, the first thing that I said to myself is, wow, those are very nice tight links. And a lot of people everywhere on Instagram, all they think about is tight links. I want tight links. I want the tightest links possible. Yo, I want my shits to be tight and straight and handmade or whatever. The tighter the links, the less mobility there is. On a chain, there's movement. You are doing this all the time. You jumping around, you got a pendant. Tight links make a difference. And in this particular case, again, I'm assuming based on the product that this was turned in or given to Daniel Jewelry Inc. or traded or swapped or upgraded or gonna be melted, whatever the case may be, because these are the tightest fucking links that I've seen. I'm gonna show you the chain and show you what I mean. This is Leon Jewelry's Miami Cuban link. Very nice links. Very nice links, super tight. And I mean tight, 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 tight. Like virgin tight, like to wear this shit, you're gonna have to spray your neck with Vaseline. But the problem that I'm assuming is the following. They're too fucking tight. Look, look at the crimps. Crimp, 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 crimp. Do it again. Too tight, too tight. Everybody wants tight, tight, tight links. I want the tightest links. I want that shit to look official. Look, look fam, look.
You want tight links or you want links made accordingly? That's just what I'm saying. Again, visually beautiful, very nice. The finish is great. Again, I even clean these shits. Again, like I said initially, I clean these shits. But look, I'm trying to straighten it out. And are you understanding what I'm saying? Like I have to force these shits. Look, if I go like this, this is what I'm talking about. A lot of people misconstrue my content for hating. It's not hating. I'm showing you the facts. I'm, I'm putting it. Look, this isn't. This is what I'm talking about. If they were spaced out a little bit different, listen, I wouldn't have a problem with the links. I think these needs a little bit spaced out. Very nice chain, but it's too fucking tight. This is probably a singular situation. This is probably not a representation of all the chains that they do. In this particular case, maybe the customer requested a tight links and they were like, you want tight? You got tight fam. And this is the problem. So next one, the next ones are bracelets. And I'm so happy I got these in the bundle because a lot of people want to know what's the deal with Italian made machine manufactured Miami Cuban links. What's the big deal? They all look the same. Okay, so for me, I don't personally like Italian machine made Miami Cuban links. Clearly they're machine made, so they're not handmade. And the box locks on them aesthetically, I do not like. I do not like how they look. I do not like how they feel. I don't like the bulkiness of the base of the box lock. It's not casted, it's made by hand, but it's a pressed sheet of metal the way they create this joint. These are two Italian made Miami Cuban links and I'll show you how they look visually. So for you hang straight test lovers, this one automatically fails the hang straight test as you can see. What I'm getting from these is they have a nice weight to them. They don't look bad. The locks, I just can't deal with the locks. And these figure eight clasps, look at the figure eight clasp on this one. It's on the lock. I mean, a lot of people like them. A lot of people don't care about the traditional look. They want all the straight links. They want the Cuban link look. They give a shit about the traditional box lock. And that's perfectly fine. It's all personal preference. For me, personal preferences, this is not a traditional Miami Cuban link. This is not how it's supposed to look. This is a better lock than the casted lock that most of these jewelers use. Keep it a thousand. For me, aesthetically, this is not what I see in a Miami Cuban link as far as lock is concerned. You rock what you like when you want, but clearly some people wanna trade it in for something more maybe traditional looking. Next one. Now this particular chain is one of the biggest, not the biggest, one of the biggest jeweler. This is Grimal Jewelry. Grimal Jewelry got like 5,000 locations in fucking South Florida. It's insane the amount of Cuban links that they pump out. Now this is a 14 karat gold. I can definitely tell that this is a casted lock. It's not a bad looking link at all. It's definitely got the old school kind of vibe. It's a little bit more rounder link as opposed to like Daniel's or Leon even that it has more of a flatter top. So this has maybe a more bubble type look. Again, I don't know why this is traded in, but check it out. On some casted locks, I noticed there's a small discrepancy between the link and the box lock. And it's usually a small little gap, which is super insignificant to 99% of the people. But again, an asshole like me who notices all these shits can pinpoint them. And let me show you. These links right here and these links right here, there's a little bit of a gap in here. So you can kind of see 90% of the people aren't going to give a shit. And maybe if you get the proper length and you just throw it over your head, you won't even unlock this shit. So it don't matter. You will never take this lock off. You're just going to throw it over your head. Keep it Gucci. Take it off the same fucking way. It's not going to be something that you open and close, open and close like a bracelet. For me, it's these little things that kind of mean something to me. The links are slightly spaced out, but they're not bad. Uh, the hang straight test. Again, I don't know if this chain is defective or not. 
well, it doesn't pass the hang straight test. There might be some issue here with the chain that I don't know about. You see the twist? It's having a twist. Well, it's twisted all the way, actually, you know. But again, I don't know what the issue is. It could be a flip link, a flip link. If you get a flip link in between it, it does create that twist and have that issue. So that could be the issue. Again, I don't know. I don't think this is a bad chain. I've seen a lot worse. Next one. The next one, I don't know why he sent me this shit. He definitely did it to piss me off. These are hollow Miami Cuban links with fucking lobster claps. Absolutely disgusting. I don't know who made them. These are nauseating as shit. Don't ever get these. Come on, man. Don't get these, man. These shit suck. This one's hollow as fuck. Look at this trash. The shit is twisted all over the place. Fucking junk. Look at the link on this shit. Look at this. What the fuck is this? How much does this shit even weigh? Hold on, I got a scale right here. You don't even want to stay on the scale, that's how. It's about 14 grams. Yo, look how stiff this shit is. Look at this shit. This is garbage. Yo, you sent me this shit to piss me off. Look at this fucking disgusting. Like, what is this? Look at, hang straight test people fans. Look at this shit. Come on, man, like. Next one. Now these last two pieces I feel are probably from the biggest jewelry manufacturer in fucking the country. VIP jewelry. VIP jewelry manufactures a ton. Most of the Cuban links, if you go to your diamond district or some shit, most likely they're from VIP. They produce, bu I mean, bundles upon bundles upon bundles of Cuban link and sell them wholesale. So I have a bracelet and a chain that was given to Daniel Jewelry Inc. One of them, I definitely know the reason and I'm gonna show them to you now. Let's start with the bracelet. This bracelet is so fucking heavy, my scale can't even read it. Look at this big boy right here from VIP. Here's the VIP stamp. Now again, VIP also does casted locks. So the issue with this one, since they're casted, they don't come with tension. This is again, this is my perspective because they're casted, they don't come with any tension behind it. So therefore, with time on a bracelet that you have to open and close, open and close, open and close and take off and put on, this issue happens. Again. Look, I'm pushing it in. That's what happens. There's no tension here. So this, not a bad looking bracelet. Hang straight, pretty much, you know, and these type of big chunky bracelets, hang straight test really doesn't count. This amount of gold, you want some kind of twist and flexibility around the bracelet to be able to wrap it around your wrist so it has some kind of structure. What I notice is forget about the loose lock. Once I lock it into place, it's locked into place. But then this gapping between the button and the actual lock that I'm gonna show you, that's a problem for me. Again, details, little details. It's got the traditional more bubble look as far as the link is concerned, but just a bad class. So that's probably why they sent it in, I'm assuming. Let me show you their chain. Here's their chain, their VIP chain. We'll do the hang straight test. I know you guys love that hang straight test. Okay, so unfortunately on this one, again, there might be some issue. There might be a flip link, but it doesn't hang straight. At this point right here, it twists and then it's turning over. Again, I'll show you up close and personal. You can see what I'm talking about, that little link spacing. I don't know why the customer brought this one in to trade or swap or whatever the case may be, but it was a good opportunity to see how their links are made up close and personal. So here you go, VIP, you get that look. I took my chain off. I'm gonna show y'all side by side. This is the order I'm gonna do it. This is VIP's chain, Daniel Jewelry Inc. chain. So VIP, Daniel Jewelry Inc., Leon, and Grimal. 
So again, the way the order goes is as follows. VIP number one, Daniel Jewelry Inc., Leon Grimal. I'm gonna show you up close and you guys determine what looks best to you. We're gonna add the Italian made Cubans here so you can get a look. And that's pretty much it. I give, I'm giving you a bundle of Cuban chains from different Miami jewelers and you guys determine who's the best option for you. Price point, service, quality, look, whatever you're looking for, that's the determination for that ass. Try to keep it as diplomatic as possible. There's little details that I spot that don't sit well with me personally, but for you might not mean shit, just doesn't matter. So you purchase whatever you like. Here you go. I love your motherfuckers from the heart. Let me know in the comment below what other brand you try to do and I'll see if I can get them or if they bring them in or whatever the case may be. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what it is? Biggest in the game. Smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, Mona roller, star tack when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would.